I got a new RC car in today in the mail. Uh, can't really find uh, drift cars anywhere in Ontario, it seems to be. So there's a place in Quebec called the Elite Drift Shop. And I got the Yokomo uh, YD2E. So. Oh. oh, that's cool. Little Scooby Snacks. Card to some stickers, it looks like. Hey, thanks. Have fun. Happy holidays. Cat and something. Well, that's cool. But yeah, no, I can't find a real wheel drive drift car anywhere, and I didn't want to buy um, the Tamiya TTO 2, and there's a real wheel drive conversion kit, but that costs like $400 for all that. The chassis here just under 300 bucks so got to build the whole thing but at least that way i'll get to know the vehicle how it comes apart how it goes together um also actually i ordered these on amazon which came in nice today metal uh shock towers but i like how they're enclosed because uh i broke basically this piece the pan hard mount on that so it's about the second time i've done it you can see right there, it's just broken off. So basically every time you turn the wheel, it has nothing. It's not set against anything, so it doesn't work. So I got to fix that. And then the ESC went on this, the brush system. So now the Bronco is brushless with the Sidewinder 4. I took out of my HPI WR8. And now my castle, like crawler motors in here. I think those are 2850 kV. So now the Bronco's brushless, it goes fast. Um, it was a lot of fun in the snow. I also did get this rubber mat, which actually works out really nice to work on the vehicles. And these connectors. Um, it's an IC, or EC3 to EC5. So that way with this ESC, I already have the IC5 for my batteries. But she's got her own battery with the EC, uh, IC3, so... Basically, I had to get a whole pack of four just for that. But at least that way I can keep some in the bag. And I do have a couple of Dean's batteries. And so, boom. That way I can actually plug that in and use all my batteries now. But uh, for this car, I don't have an ESC yet. I don't know what I'm going to get. Um, I may get... Um, I may try, like, the castle stuff. We'll see what happens with that. But... Yeah, full kit. Got to build everything up. There's not very many videos on YouTube, also that are in English, um, for this car. So, hopefully we'll see how it comes out. But I don't know if I'm going to... I'm going to wait in on maybe doing like a drift ESC and motor. I'm just going to try out the castle stuff for now and just see how that goes. Not probably going to get too serious into it, but I did want an actual rear-wheel drive car that has a lot of steering angle on the front. And this is the cheapest one you can basically get from them. They do have a YD2 E3 with three lines, but it's all like carbon fiber and aluminum. It basically comes all done up for you right off the bat, but it's over double the price of this. So I figured to start off with this. It comes with no body, no wheels, I'm pretty sure either. So I do have drift wheels, and I got my Skyline body and my Mazda RX-7 body. So we'll see how that goes, but once... i got to wait till summer, basically, to really run this. But that, I'm going to try and cut out maybe this fender well and fit in the metal one here. We'll see what happens. I've already bought two sets of these uh, flares. And it was because when I was outside, I ran into the curb, and that's the weakest link on it. So this so far... I uh, haven't ran it out in the snow yet brushless, but it still goes nice and slow. Um, I got to go in to the Castle ESC and basically set up the throttle curve for it. But that's another project. Now I've got a whole bunch of things to do. I've got to try and fix that. Um, now I can run all my cars, like run all the batteries. i got a adapters for everything now. Keep one here, one in the bag. Some of them keep plugged in the cars. And yeah, that was cool getting this in my package so 
thanks uh elite drift shop in uh, quebec so yeah awesome